What's up guys, it's x here. Today so I'm coming to you guys with a brand new video. And this video is basically just going to be a crazy experience that I had a few days ago. So, you guys don't know this, but I've been taking martial arts since I was like 7 years old. So I've been doing it for like 8 years now. And 2 days ago, when I didn't upload, we were having black belt tests that day. Now I already have my black belt, but I was with there with another black belt from my dojo. And we were just there to help all the other guys who were testing for their black belt. So basically all we had to do was just a bunch of drills and we had to do a lot of sparring and grappling and stuff like that. But basically we just had to be there all day and when I say all day I mean we got there like 7 in the morning and then when it was all over it was probably like 7 p.m. So yeah we were there for a really long time. You know, in the first three hours, we did, like, pretty basic stuff. We did, like, cardio and stuff. I guess they're, like, testing them on, like, their physical capabilities or whatever. I don't know what my teacher was testing them on. I was just there to help out. I didn't expect to be doing the workouts that they were doing, but we ended up doing it, too. I don't even know what happened, but after those three hours, um, we decided to take a break. And when we took a break... I decided to leave and come back and when I came back this is when something really weird happened with me and my friend my teacher he decided he told us that we were gonna start sparring right now usually when we spar we put on gear but this time he had us put on like chest plates and all this other stuff like we this was something like super different from what we usually do now just imagine your entire body just covered in foam dipped fighting equipment all right it was really tough all right so we finished sparring but then we get into grappling and if you don't know what that is it's kind of just like wrestling so me and my friend we just partner up and we start grappling and usually nothing nothing's all it's all going good everything's going fine but then he gets me in this headlock with his legs all right and he's got me in this headlock it's pretty tight i'm like out of like choking all right because he's got it like really tight so i'm like choking a little bit but I know I can get out of it, and this is how I get out of it. I swing my legs over to his head. Basically, I'm trying to, like, flip his body around, okay? Like, I'm on top of him, and his legs are, like, up around my arms and my neck. So, like, I bring my feet, and I try to just flip my body around to his head. And when I do this, I end up, like, hitting his head. I get out of his, like, chokehold or whatever, and then, like, my instructor says, like, you guys got your mouthpieces or whatever, because I kind of I kind of hit him in the head kind of hard so he decided just to tell us to get our mouthpieces so we go in the locker room now we get in there and my friend you know he's really tired so he like bends over on a chair and he's like breathing kind of hard and you know I reach down into my bag to get my mouthpiece and when I get up and I start walking out he he talks to me in like this this teary-eyed voice like I cannot describe this voice like his voice sounded like his mom just died. It was that sad. It was like he was crying, okay? And he was, all right? So he says, go get Senpai, all right? And Senpai is basically my other teacher. It's just a name. It's a name that we use for teacher, okay? So I go get him, and I'm like, I don't know what's going on. It's just like he's so sad for some reason. Like, I thought, did I hit him too hard? Is he upset with me? Like, I didn't know what was going on. So I go get my teacher, and I bring him back in there to talk to him. And then he starts talking to my teacher and he's saying stuff like, dude, why? Like he was crying, like he was bawling his eyes out. And when I'm saying he was shaking, like he was crying, like it was literally like some deep depression type stuff, all right? So my teacher, he starts talking to him and he asks what's wrong. And my friend, he says that he just says he doesn't know what's wrong it's just he's sad and he doesn't know why it's not because like I hit him so hard it's because he was just sad and didn't know why now this is what was wrong with him okay my teacher he's been doing martial arts for years okay and this is what basically happened I basically hit him in the head in a certain part of his brain where he couldn't control his emotions anymore like I hit him somewhere where just he lost control of his emotions it's a thing that happened my teacher told me that it's happened before to even one of the adults like he was sparring and he just got hit in the head too hard one time and he started laughing out of nowhere and then all of a sudden he just started crying like his dog just died like I, it was the weirdest thing ever okay like me and my friend are cool like after about 30 minutes he was all good it's just that he couldn't control his emotions it was literally the weirdest experience ever 
and just like when he was going through that the look on his face was just so sad it's like he wasn't sad it's just he couldn't control his emotions for some reason and it was because of that like i don't know how my teachers know about that they just they know a lot of stuff guys and um yeah that was a really really weird day for me so um yeah if you understood this story at all let me know in the comments and let me know if you enjoyed i'm good with my friend now he doesn't hate me or whatever but um yeah i'm x lord i hope you enjoyed the story i'm out Peace.